Wagwan viewers and subs, welcome back to class. Thank you for tuning in on this channel. Your comment feedback is appreciated. You can learn from me while I learn from you. In today's video, based on two subscribers' requests, I'll be using the DV1 base coat gun for clear coat and I'll show you exactly what tip size to use. Stay tuned. Now before we start with the clear coat and what tip size to use, we're going to lay down some base coat. In this little area, as you can see, it's a very small repair. This will be quick and easy. In case you guys were wondering, I was spraying at 15 psi and I have a 1.2 tip size in here. Now the 1.2 tip size work great for any color, metallic, solid or pearl on solvent. If you're going to use this gun for water-based paint, even though that is what this cap means, it's, it's a DV1B plus cap, meaning you can use it for both solvent and water-based. But if you're using water-based paint, I would recommend that you use a 1.3 for your base coat rather than the 1.2 because water-based paint is heavier than solvent. So we're gonna let this flash for about five minutes and come back and put a second coat. Before I apply my second coat of paint, I'll grab some 2000 and I will scuff this area. This is just me picking up any dirt that may be around in this area before I clear and get a lot of dirt. So this is a way that you can avoid excessive amount of dirt in your paint job. To clean this up, you just need a tack cloth. You don't need to get it wet. Uh, you wanna make sure you go ahead and tack the whole thing. We're all done with our base coat. Now we're going to go ahead and start the clear process. Now it's time to get the gloss on here. I switched out the 1.2 for the 1.3. I'm using the Montana Big Sky Clear Coat. When I spray clear coat with this gun, I spray at 17 to 20 PSI. This gun does not require that much pressure to get the job done. Now there goes the first coat of clear. As you guys can see, this gun does an excellent job. It can compare to any other of these clear guns with the way it lays down the clear coat. I find that the 1.3 works best for me. You guys can experiment with this and tell me what you think. Now the only reason why you would change your tip size is to match the viscosity of the material that you're using. So for example, if you're spraying primer, you don't want to spray primer with a 1.2 or a 1.3. Your number's got to go higher. If you're spraying the base coat and clear coat, the number go down. So from 1.2 to 1.4.
it is guys it is as clear as day just how good this gun can perform on clear coat just as it can perform with base coat a nice flat finish no peels no dry spot and minimum dirt nibs in here because of the steps that i take before i start to paint once this dries i'm gonna put it outside so you guys can see what it looks like if you guys have been using the dv1 base coat gun or the clear coat gun let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section and to the two guys who requested the video i hope this helps so thank you guys for watching until next time class dismissed